All right, finally got my two packages. Been waiting them for these for a while here. Uh, I'm not sure why it took so long, but anyways, happy to finally get them. So let's check them out. The first one has multiple items in it, and the other one is just one big framed item. He has to read his dongle, save that one for last. I should really open it first, because that's I'm the most excited to see that first, but uh, he built some anticipation. These, these are all still pretty good in here. These are all pretty much all dead guys. Uh, that's the reason why I bought these, because they're all passed away. Uh, I'm pretty much familiar with all of them except for the one gentleman and the spell player. Uh, I only looked him up. He's a Hall of Famer, from what I remember. And he also obviously passed away. So these are all obviously unframed. Doesn't look like they're in hardcovers either, which kind of sucks. Oh, that sucks. They're in plastics. Okay, so the first one, oh yeah, that's right, is, uh, also they threw all this, that's kind of not good for showing. I'm gonna have to pull them out. Oh, there's three in this one, what the? I didn't even put them in separate ones. Oh, that really sucks. Anyways, not very impressed with that. They couldn't put them in, in like, for what I paid for them, they couldn't put it in hard. Uh, plastics are pretty disappointed in that. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of pull them out. So this one... There's uh, Joe Frazier and George Savalo. So, uh, this really sucks. I'm gonna have to go buy some hard plastics. Like, oh, this is very disappointing. <laughs> and then this one is Johnny Bauer. You can see it's saying silver on the top there. I've gotten him many times, but uh, couldn't pass that up for that price. For 16 by 22, but it wasn't signed by 40. And this last one here. You shouldn't leave the CO in there. It's signed by, he's more known for uh, Police Academy, Bubba Smith. If you remember him from Police Academy, Bubba Smith, also an NFL Hall of Famer. Nice autograph. So there's the 316 buys. So, like I said, not very happy uh, that they're at least put them in individual plastics. I mean, come on. I don't know. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put one front and one back so at least i can i'll know who they are so it'll be easy when i do finally get and that one's kind of damaged uh at least i'll be easy access to prove who they are so i'll still do that with coas after not gonna do that now yeah so that's baba smith johnny bauer and those and that one and then i'll put the shivalo and Frazier on the back of this one. So this is the guy I wasn't I couldn't remember who it was. Uh, Forrest Gregg's his name. HOF 77. I believe he was paid for the Packers, but I could be wrong. Uh, that was a pretty cool picture. Uh, nicely signed in silver. So I'll put the Joe Frazier and Shivalo, which is also signed in silver on the back of that one. So just kind of put it in the plastic for now. So I can get put them in hard plastics. I'll be putting them back in the box like this, so won't damage it. Like I, I get that they're at least they're nicely like packaged, like wrapped around with with cardboard and that. But I still would have liked to them. Like when you're paying the kind of money I paid for those, I would I would have you know what's a few bucks to put them in hard plastic. And, you know, it's just go the extra mile. Like considering they're. All the money they put into in shipping and stuff, I think they would have, you know, went the extra mile that at least if they wouldn't get damaged, right? And there's a couple of them that have a little little bit of it. Not not too bad, but this one you won't have to worry about because this one's in a frame. And this is the thing I was really excited to open. Oh, it's really tight in here. Oh, and I don't know if you noticed, and I got, I broke my exacto knife, so I'm using my scissors again. I'm gonna have to find my my knife for the garage tomorrow, my day off. So I just got an extra board. I have lots of boards, anyways. If I ever do go out graphing again, when this uh, pandemic ends, you know the life gets back to normal. It's a professional sport, you know. Okay, so. 
Snapchat, and I opened this picture, and all of the screen was cat emoji and a fish emoji. And then that was great, and then you got to a cat and you didn't want to hurt me anymore. Like, oh, again, lots and lots of bubble wrap. Oh, God. And so, really Okay. Yeah, I thought it was cool. Yeah, I thought it was Yeah, I thought it was cool. Oh, this is cool. All right. So, I uh, told my brother I got Abigail's stick today. So, what it is, it's a game used Sidney Crosby stick. So, it says this. This authentic Sidney Crosby game used blade was used on November 30th, 2007 in a game against the Dallas Stars. <coughs> Crosby had two goals in a 4-1 Penguins victory, and that was the day my niece was born in, uh, you know, in, tr in I think it was Toronto or Oshawa. I know she was rushed to Sick Kids, so I'm not sure if she was born at Sick Kids or if she was born in, uh, I can't remember where, but anyways, so this is, uh, this week they had a bunch of different dates you could pick, and then when I saw that date, I was like, did the math quick, I'm like, pretty sure that was the date Abby Hill was born, and uh, messaged my brother, and sure enough, so that's, uh, so that's a pretty cool piece, so maybe one of these days I'll get it signed, but yeah, so really, really nice piece, uh, can't go wrong with anything, anything Sidney Crosby, so again, there you go, it's a framed uh, Sidney Crosby game you stick blade, and then of course the framework CO in the back there. So again, very nice presentation, a very nice piece, so can't go wrong with the Sid the Kid stuff. Alright, so very happy to have that, so eventually it'll probably be hers, but right now Uncle David's taking care of it. So thanks for watching guys, uh, take care and have a good one.